Let's now create the trigger. I'm going to go to right view, zooming in and make sure to turn on the visibility of your canvas. So now I'm going to hit L just to quickly grab and go into sketch mode. So selecting our YZ plane, I'm going to hit S and let me show you a quick tip. We're going to search for arc. So I typed arc. Now I'm going to select this arrow to add this to our toolbox because this is a commonly used tool. Now I can left click and hold and grab this one here. And if I don't want a specific command here, I can remove this one by left click and dragging this outside. So once more, let's return S for sketch toolbox and I'm going to type ARC and I'm going to add this to our toolbar. So dragging this one there and left click. So zooming in, I'm going to hold control to disable inferred constraints. I'm going to drop our first point here. So this one is going up to here. So I'm going to make a guesstimate. So left click here and move this one here. Left click. So next, left click here and left click here and left click here. Next, there's another arc here. So I'm going to left click here and left click here, zooming in, left click. And now I'm going to hit L for line. I'm going to create a line here, going here up to here. Hitting escape. So for now, we will not input any dimension. I'm going to hit E for extrude and select our newly created profile. For direction, I'm going to select symmetric. I'm going to grab our arrow. And for the operation, I'm going to select new body. So dragging this one. So for the distance, I'm going to type in 3.5 and hit OK. I'm going to hide our canvas and turn it on again. Next, I'm going to hit F to grab our fillet, selecting this edge, going to right view, moving this one. I'm going to key in one. or better yet, 0.7, hitting OK. So looking good. I'm going to hit F once more and select these edges. I'm going to type in 1, or better yet, 0.5, going to right view and hitting OK. So now we are a bit slightly off. I can hit M for move and select our trigger. So I can grab this down and move this to the right. Hitting OK. So let's refine our edges. I'm going to go to fillet 20, right click and select edit feature and add this edges. Zooming in and inspecting. I'm going to turn off the visibility of our canvas. So if you're having difficulty, you can also go to Visual Style and select Wireframe. So let's go back now to our 
shaded with visible edges only. And finally, hit OK. So model, looking good. Going back to home view. Let's be organized. I'm going to go to our buddies and rename body11 to trigger. Next, let's create the gap and space for the trigger. I'm going to go to right view. I'm going to hit R to grab our rectangle and select our YZ plane. Now zooming in, I'm going to position my cursor and drop my first point over here. And left click here. So zooming in, I'm going to move this one here and move this one here. So I'm not going to add any dimension for now. I'm going to hit E for extrude. But first, I'm going to turn off the visibility of trigger so that it would not be affected by our cut extrusion. So operation would be cut. And for the profile, Selecting this rectangle. For direction, I'm going to select symmetric. So if you remember, it's 3.5, the thickness of our trigger. I'm going to type in 4. And hit OK. So let's check. I'm going to turn on trigger and hide our canvas. So looking good. In addition, we can also add some fillets. I'm going to hit F. And I'm going to hide our trigger. Going to select this edge. This edge. this edge and this edge. I'm going to type 0.5 and adding these edges as well. Selecting this edge, this edge, and this edge. Hitting OK. And turning on our trigger, 